what my last maybe like not real but like long term relationship. I think she was like the first the first girl that I've dated who was like five one, mm-hmm. you know. Whoa. And I was like, How did that feel? fuck yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good man. Yeah, I'm a big old hogging yeah. hog god. <laughs> I'm a hog god. Uh, folks, <laughs> new podcast alert, hog god. I don't, know if we have, shit. I don't know if we have time for it. Do you have any important shit that, has, that should be shot? Uh, I mean, I already, I already did Cap City, so I don't have to promote that. That's uh-huh. done. Hell yeah. And I have nothing ever again in yeah. my life. Retired in Austin, Texas. I quit. Austin will get you. Yeah. You, you can just retire, you know. That's our vibe. I did have a... Uh... Wait. We're just talking, right? I don't know. Are we recording? I'm sure Jesus. we're recording. <laughs> Bleh! <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Um, I had, had quite a day yesterday, so feeling the, the recouping... Um, oh, nice. What's that place where everyone goes part and parties? It's not Dirty Six. What's the other place? East Six, Rainy Street. Rainy Street. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, Rainy Street will do some damage. Yeah, sure. It's always nice feeling like the grossest, oldest, fattest piece of shit in a you know. It's a place. funny that you came from L.A. to Austin to have that experience. I have never felt uglier I, yeah. than being in Austin. It's truly insane. Well, I mean, that's one of the things about everybody from California moving here. It is a hotter city now. It's way hotter. Yeah, yeah. and L.A. is uglier. And yeah. I am cleaning up out there, yeah. folks. <laughs> I'm like, I'm the only one left. Austin's for hot people now. Yeah. <laughs> I do actually feel like that whenever I go to like, I mean, not, you know, Austin's not like a small town. It's yeah. a, you know, it's city. Mid-sized Mid, city. Mid-sized city. But I mean, I swear to God, I go to, I go to small towns and, you know, and I'm always shocked at like how hot the dudes are there. Mm. You know, I'm like, you think, I thought that going to LA, I'd be like, oh my God, everyone's so beautiful. And that's true. There are a lot of like attractive people, but Sometimes I'll just go to a, you know, Medford, Oregon, and I'm like, damn, these dudes are. <laughs> maybe, maybe attractive men just stay put because they're just like, this is fine. I get pussy, and it's I don't need, I don't have the ambition to go do th-. like they just. Yeah, why that's not a great. Stay why home? would you? Yeah, you know, if you're king, a uh, king, your little little Down town. To, yeah. Yeah, me, I'm like. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I gotta go find some. I need to reinvent tastes. myself yeah. every six months. Yeah. All right. Well, can you introduce yourself to the audience? Yeah. Hi, I'm uh, Simon Gibson, comedian, writer, actor, America's Next Top Model. Age and weight? Uh, age, uh, 30, <laughs> none of your business. Okay. Weight, I don't even know anymore. Can you give us a ballpark? Oh, God, I feel like, I mean, I'm easily over t- over 200 at this okay. point. And after this trip, probably over 220. And how tall are you? Uh, I mean, five seven in heels. In heels. Five six. Five six. Regular. Yeah. 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 Not good. Like not going little, great. Like a little leprechaun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like two little leprechauns put together. <laughs> put to- okay. Yeah. Not standing on top of each other. Just <laughs> kind of hugging. Just from morphed into one. Yeah. 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 Uh, and especially here, I feel like I'm just addicted to queso the whole Ooh, time. Ooh, if you're not lactose intolerant, the good Lord had the mercy to make me lactose intolerant so that I can't really indulge that much in queso. Because yeah. if I could, I would. God bless. I wouldn't be God able to bless handle. God. God bless God for making me lactose intolerant. It sucks, but also, like, I would eat way too much ice cream in queso. Yeah, and, you know, I'm pretty sure that I am lactose intolerant, but uh, I choose to ignore it, and we're moving on. No, it can't be as bad as it was. Like the, it was too. It was it was really painful and. Bad. Yeah, yeah. It's not. I think there's a comedian who's like uh, he. I think it's Rory Scovel. Actually, he has this joke where he's like, you know, if you're just at your house and you got nothing to do, diarrhea is not that bad. Oh, totally. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Yeah, <laughs> lactose intolerance, I guess, isn't that bad. If you can just fart all you want. Yeah. And- if if you have no one else around you, no one else yeah. around you, uh, <laughs> then it's I guess great. I prefer when there's a, a woman or two around. I also prefer that, and boy, would I love to know what that's like again <laughs> someday. 
Uh, oh, you never know. Maybe you'll find love on this podcast. Um, I mean, that'd be great. Yeah. So if anyone is attracted to Simon at the end of this, do reach out. Yeah. I really feel like I'm selling it pretty well yeah. with everything I've said <laughs> in the first two minutes. Uh, and what's your controversial take? Okay. So I got a controversial. And I don't even know if this is controversial, but I... You know, like like we already you know got out of the way. Not a tall guy mm -hmm. over here. Like I've learned six. to it, embrace it, and you know, like you have to. Yeah, it's I'm right literally there. me. You can't hide from it. I can't not be me. Uh, so I feel like you know, I I'm in my you know late. I'm 38. I'll tell you, I don't yeah. give a shit anymore. See, and that's being 38. I truly don't give a fuck. Older than me. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm the oldest one in here, even if I'm not. Okay. I think you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I will say that, you know, uh, you know, I, it's taken me most of my life to be like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I am. I am Suze Zems and yeah. that's it. Uh, but I do feel like there's this very in the last like three, three years, maybe I can't remember exactly when it started. But there's this very new condescending, in my opinion, trend of everyone being like, you know, Shout out to my short king, you know. Shout out to my short king. All my short kings out there. And it's usually a tall person. And it's usually sarcastic. And it's like, how dare you? And I do think it started uh, because there was this, like, I mean, body positivity. Hey, I'm, I'm all for it, you know. I'm making my living off it now, right? <laughs> but I feel like it started, there was this, like, weird trend where it was, like, guys who who were, like, uh, like I like, like I like my my chubby wife or something. I yeah. don't know if you remember that, but it was like this trend where it's like hot guys with larger women, and then it w and then the reverse of that happened where it's like, what's that? And it's like, I'm I'm five eight and my boyfriend's five six. Yeah, aren't I the bravest person in the whole world? <laughs> Look at you me, know? my short king. My short king. Yeah, yeah. Just like yeah, that's I, so fucking gay. <laughs> like my short king, I had too much. That's and like embarrassing. And I, I remember, you know, in my twenties, I remember, uh, you know, I think I did get hit on. <laughs> and I remember, uh, I used to get hit on aggressively by taller women. You know, I think short chasers are definitely a thing. Yeah, sure. Chubby chaser, yeah, short, short chaser, short chaser, chubby chasers, short chasers. Yeah, because yeah, that's kind of fun. Like it can be a thing to want to be a lot taller than your. I, yeah, I mean, I guess so. I don't, you know, I don't know if I ever. Is that hot to you? You like really tall women? I mean, I like being pursued. You know yeah. what I mean? But That's like, hot your, to me. What's your taste? Is your taste more? She's a little shorter than you. You get to be the fairy tale, or yeah. is your taste like Amazon? I mean, you know, I've said it before. I've said it. I'll say it again. You know, God bless you for showing up. Yeah. You know, the good Lord blessed you with uh, dairy intolerance, mm -hmm. and blessed me with, you know appreciation mm -hmm. uh but but i i have been in relationships with uh with women who are shorter and mm -hmm. it does make things easier logistically yeah just for dancing for yeah and that's it folks okay <laughs> get your minds out of the gutter just for the dancing because you got to get your arms up higher than their body yeah 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 uh and i would say what my last maybe like not real but like long-term relationship i think she was like the first, the first girl that I've dated who was like five one, mm -hmm. you know, Whoa. and I was like, How did that feel? "Fuck yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good man. Yeah, I'm a big old hogging yeah. hog god. <laughs> I'm a hog god. Uh, folks, <laughs> new podcast alert: hog god. <laughs> Get it? Get it going? Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, and obviously we had like all other kinds of issues as relationships do, but it was like. I was like, oh yeah, it's it's nice to like to look down on someone for a change. Yeah. You know? Uh but but most of like my other, you know, long term serious relationships, I've <laughs> had a few. Uh we've weirdly always been the exact same height. Like That's interesting. Ex exactly. Yeah, well five six is pretty common. Yeah. 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 For <laughs> Yeah, for especially for women, but, <laughs> yeah. but it's also just common. I mean, especially around the world, like yeah. the average male height is like something like five six. I love going around the world. Yeah, we do around the world. You're right on the money. You're right. I'm, you're right I'm having the time of my life. Yeah. Uh, 
anywhere but America. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's some places in Africa you would be even more. Yeah. 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 But, but also, then you're the cute you know, little leprechaun. I'm yeah, like, I'm out there. Yeah. I'm spreading you're lucky exotic. charms you're to the people out there. Yeah, I like how I'm like, I won't. I feel like uh, this is totally off topic. That now I'm just talking about gluten because I thought about Lucky Charms. But uh, you know, I- I'm pretty sure like that kind of stuff messes me up way more than dairy. Uh huh. Lucky but Charms. I'll, or like Processed any sort food. of cereal. Yeah, all that yeah. bullshit. But like, I thought that I was being healthy by just eating like a whole box of cinnamon toast crunch with no. oat milk. Oh, <laughs> you know. But at it's what oat age milk. did you think that was healthy? Oh, t- until this age. No. Till right before I got here. <laughs> you but didn't you see the sugar 54 grams yeah yeah i mean you just didn't this tr- i i do feel like this trip i i this is my only my second time in uh austin love it oh, here yeah. uh mm-hmm. and Come it back. is you know but it is and every time i leave where i live no matter what i'm doing whether it's like a work trip a vacation or whatever i just I literally act like I'm on vacation. Yeah. Even if I have work to do. Yeah. You know, so I'm like, fuck that. Oat milk. <laughs> Chucking oat milk. That's uh, a vacation for y- me. You're in you're in Austin, and so you're having oat milk all of a sudden? I'm just crushing the oat. That does seem like something that would happen in Austin. <laughs> yeah. An uptick in oat milk intake. Yeah. Uh, it got expensive here. Uh, had a $22 quesadilla the other night. Yeah, but that's just everything nowadays. Inflation, man. Yeah. Like, we're up to $22 quesadillas now. That's my other controversial take. Things are too expensive. Everyone <laughs> dial it down. I mean, honestly, though. Yeah. You could dial it down. Yeah. But, I, you know, I, I have been thinking about this quite a bit recently. Like, uh, if I would, if I am not shallow to be in a relationship with someone who's, like, noticeably taller than me. I've been thinking yeah. about that. You're not a sure lot. if you would really like that. I mean, I I don't know if I'm secure. Yeah, it's weird yeah, because yeah. like I think you know women aren't secure enough, or I mean they're just not attracted to guys who are shorter than them. A lot of times. Um, but I don't know if it's because they feel insecure. But like I would feel insecure. Maybe. That she might if, feel if, insecure if she was like five foot ten or something, you yeah. know. And like and like in flats, you know. What if she was just like she had kind of a little fetish for short guys, and she's just like, I'm just super into it. Yeah, I'm I mean, super again, into that about you. Again. Like, are you okay with that? Is it because of how other people perceive you, or? Yeah, I think it's more that the yeah, yeah. which is which is f- fucking lame, you know. Yeah, you just don't want people whispering behind your bag like, oh, "Yeah, look at that girlfriend's so much taller than him. What a loser!" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what a do- like. I think we're all just happy for you. Like, climb that tree, man. Yeah. I mean, my friends would be happy. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I don't care. I don't care about my friends being happy. I'm just like some <laughs> some person I've made up in my mind who's not yeah. even real. I'm like that son of a bitch, probably saying it <laughs> immediately. <Sniggering> at me. <laughs> it's like who? It's like just uh, just a uh, a collage of a bunch of people from high school. <laughs> yeah. Just like shut up, <laughs> nobody. <laughs> But uh, I, you know, I I actually uh, now that I put that out there, I'll bet the yeah the next person I fall head over heels for uh, will be five eleven without heels. Yeah, you've just you've just uh, manifested. I'm that putting that sure. out there. I'm putting yeah, it out there. That's pretty much yeah happening. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, so there's a comic in I think New Jersey, maybe New York, who has this really perfect bit about how condescending short kings is. I really wish I remembered Dang. his name. But he actually is short. Yeah. You know, he's a, he's a little short king. Yeah. And he's um, maybe bald. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, anyway, it's very funny. But, yeah, he opened my eyes to that. I'm like, and absolutely. I mean, he brings a bit home, and it's like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Know, we can't keep calling people short kings. No. No. And I'm, <laughs> you know. I went just pat you on the head. You don't remember how Oh, look at our little short king. <laughs> yeah, and I've like, I've never really talked about uh, being short on stage before. Really? You know, being fat, sure. <laughs> I mean, all the time, you know. Because on stage, uh, we don't always, unless it's one of those places where there's not a stage, we don't always really notice it. That's part of why there's a stage, is so yeah. that you don't really notice how tall people are or aren't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, some of the shows I've done, I, no stage at all. 
Mm. I'm asking to, you know, just put a carpet on the concrete. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make me feel like square. I'm somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I did a I did a run of uh of shows in in like Oregon and they were a lot of fun, but like it was basically just set up a mic and an amp in the middle of like a pub, you know. Oh yeah. And uh and that's when I I did start making some short jokes because I'm like, do you guys have like, give me a fucking milk crate or something? Yeah, give me some way to be above <laughs> somehow. Above some people. <laughs> yeah, the one sitting down. You know, give me that. I do like the uh, the new give stage. Give me a high chair so I can sit, jump <laughs> yeah. into that and then yeah. be higher. <laughs> I'm wearing dad's <laughs> shoes. You know, <laughs> legs swinging, just a dangling baby. Um. But yeah, uh, well, I was. I don't. You've been to the new Cap City, the mm. the Red Room. Yeah, that's also a very, uh, such a fun it's room. A tiny stage though. Yeah, yeah, such a fun room. I had a great time. But yeah, mm-hmm. s- small stage. Yeah. Um, I love it. Yeah, but and they're like, like yeah. they're like right there too. Yeah, you're on like an auction block or something. Yeah. It's really. <laughs> All right. What do you guys want? <laughs> yeah. You gotta help me. I'm fucking dying out there. <laughs> just like tell no jokes just like <laughs> just have a panic attack yeah some guy was like I wanted to buy you a, at the the Saturday show this guy was like I wanted to buy you a beer but they said you get free beer and I was like yeah could you just give me six dollars yeah, I've done that before <laughs> I was like I'm in a pinch you know and then I'm like the guy who's like his whole life is you know just centered like if I don't get this six dollars yeah horrible things are happening to my family uh, <laughs> no, I've said that before. It's like honestly, you could just give me money. Yeah, just, just hand me a five. <laughs> I forgot to pack my merch. Give yeah. me money. Yeah, just the whole <laughs> point is an excuse for you to just support me as an artist. Yeah. so just let's skip the middleman and just give me money. I mean, I've definitely seen uh, there. There's some people who charged you know people to just take pictures with them, and uh, oh yeah, someday I'll. Have the balls for that. Desperate, yeah. (laughs) Someday Uh, I'll actually be in a pinch and I'll uh, require it. (laughs) (laughs) I block the exit so they can't leave. Um, Yeah. (laughs) How much would you charge for taking a picture with you? I mean, five dollars seems like seems like too little. Yeah. It's almost kind of like, it's like an OnlyFans account minimum. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, that's me like offering fifty percent off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friends and family discount yeah. for this picture. For the first ten subs who want to take a picture with me, it's I'll give you fifty percent off. off. I'll even like chat back to you. I was thinking about people, uh, uh, like uh, if they give me their email, then I would like write them a, a personal letter or something. Yeah, for like two ninety five. Two dollars and ninety five. I will write a whole page for under three bucks. Believe me, I got the time, and I don't need the money. <laughs> oh man! Oh, what a world! Yeah. Okay, so did you have anything to that you wanted to say about this short king business? I mean, if you're just. Just change the way that that you see the world, okay, people. Um, no, I would say, I would say, you know, there's nothing wrong with celebrating who you are, you know, uh, especially if it's like things that you literally can't control. Mm-hmm. And I do also think, you know, I I just remembered this, but I, there was a story that I heard on <laughs> NPR. <laughs> I listened to the good stuff, you guys. Pretty smart. Uh, but it was this whole thing about there's this new procedure where uh, you can you can grow uh, three to like six inches, like in Gattaca. Mm-hmm. In Gattaca, it's total Gattaca shit. Got it. But they literally just like Dude, pull splints. out your <laughs> femur <laughs> through your knee, yeah, like and then re put it back together, and uh, and you grow three to six inches, Dude. and and the fact that like and the fact that look this up is totally real. I heard this the other day. Um, and and it's just like okay, so people, so guys who are like five seven, five eight are literally going through horrific. It's like 
brutal. Well, it's like what the kind of do. stuff people used to have to do just to live in the early 19th century. You know what I mean? They would like saw into your leg and take out a big chunk of it if they thought it was diseased or yeah. something. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, you know, they 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 said who they didn't say exactly who was in it, but there is like a public client list and they're like, yeah, it's a lot of people in tech. Uh, some like news anchors, you know, and it's just like so okay, just so come we're... back one day and be three inches taller. To and, six, and yeah, and a Dude, lot if of someone's six inches taller. It's gonna be like okay, you're trans tall now, but like we all <laughs> see you as you used to be short, and then you paid to be tall, so it's kind of embarrassing for your whole life. People aren't gonna forget. Yeah, nobody for and <laughs> that's so good. Uh... <laughs> And it is it is a thing where it's like people did it during the pandemic. So a lot of people were working from home. And, uh, and you know, I heard this story and it's just – and it just made me so sad because it's just like, yeah, my short kings, you know, My big short ups. kings are talking now. Yeah, and it's like, no, <laughs> yeah, I'm such, a, I'm such a short king. I'm going to have my leg bone removed <laughs> and put back together because I'm so secure yeah. with who I am, you know. And I, I really oh. thought about it. I was like, would I ever do that? And I'm like, fuck no. Yeah. You know? I mean, also, it's like, yeah, you're three inches to six inches taller, but are your knees and legs just fucked up forever? Right. Can you run or what's going on? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. I, would, I hope I, not. Or at least there's got to be at least some risk <laughs> yeah. of it not I going I hope great. your life is ruined. All these people are just in wheelchairs, but no, they're taller. <laughs> But yeah. it's just their legs, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. They're just in like a hover around scooter. <laughs> their legs are Yeah, but if longer. I could stand up, you'd really yeah. be getting turned on just right now. Consider, yeah. You can see how long they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I swear to God, if I had if it wasn't just the most painful thing in the world to try <laughs> to, to stand. stand. <laughs> Everyone in here begins. I hope that's what happens to the first batch. Uh, then the first batch never, yeah. Then there is a God if that happens. Ugh. I mean, if <laughs> if God can make lactose intolerant mm-hmm. and... And he can do this thing with the legs where, yeah. where it goes badly. Yeah. And people learn to not... We don't need to start... Mo- we don't need to do Gattaca. We just don't... No. If you haven't watched the movie, go watch it. It Great might be movie. a book too. I don't know. Is it? <sighs> yeah. I have no idea. But no, go watch the movie. I don't movie. want to be on record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just occurred to me. I'm like, okay. But anyway, and uh, you know, just in case the younger generation doesn't know, but like we just we don't we, we don't want to go down that path. Yeah. Vintage Ethan Hawk. Vintage Jude Law. Vintage There's a third person in it. And I can't remember. Yeah, we should instead of it being like this condescending thing of short kings, because that's not a rebranding that's going to make uh, tall, short short men be like, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's how all their voices sound. By the way, yeah. I have the deepest voice of any short. It's normally like, hi, <laughs> I'm a little prince. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lift me up. I can't see. What's behind you? They're not going to be like, yeah, that's me. That makes me feel okay with 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 things. <laughs> it's. Like, we just need to be like, yeah, some, you know, we just need to have the idea of characters who are short and hot. Yeah. You know, like, you're like, we all like those kind of, um, what, what's the characters from Lord of the Rings that are cute little hobbits? The, it's yeah. Like a, like, like Frodo. A hobbit, like a, yeah, like a hobbit yeah. thing. And I will say, I hobbits saw. Hobbits are sexy, you know? I saw, uh, what's his name? Oh, my God. Plays Frodo. Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. I saw him at a, at a UPS store, uh. And uh, he is, he's, he's very petite, little, <laughs> little cutie. <laughs> oh, he could get together with Elliot Page. That would be cute. That would be cute. Elijah Wood and Elliot Page. Let me, let me write that down in my fanfic. <laughs> <laughs> I got some writing to do. Everybody out of the studio. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Uh and and he was yeah I was like damn uh, huge head though because everyone who acts tiny little bodies every actor that I've ever seen in real life I was except for Robert Duvall I mean he was like eighty but I was like damn this guy's a big old hunk you know yeah. like he was large but everyone else that I've ever seen they've always been smaller than I thought with a massive melon. <laughs> they got they. You just have to have a huge head. Interesting. Reese Witherspoon, 
Tootsie Pop stick melon. There's something about the camera that this just works for. Yeah. Okay. She was the smallest human being I've ever seen with, I mean, but, the but biggest head. head. Like it's dwarves. Huge. All actors are kind of like dwarves. Yeah. Large uh, heads. Uh, hobbits, if hobbits, you will. Yeah. Short kings. Short okay, kings. Nah, I tried to bring British. it back. That didn't. <laughs> <laughs> No, it is. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, it's just more efficient to f- to film with short, with smaller people. Yeah, I mean, I think you know it, now we're now it's even and out here, folks. Because yeah, I mean, I think it is a thing where like, unless you're like an action star, so like you know someone like like Brendan Fraser back in the day, you know Chris Hemsworth, like those are those dudes are like tall legitimately and tall and broad. big. Yeah, but that's like they have to. It's because they have to look physically imposing. Right. Like if you're like norm That's normal characters, selling. yeah, these are the superhero characters. Yeah. yeah, typically I think like five ten is like kind of, you know, kind of the perfect height for, for a guy on screen. Um, you know, I think five ten is a good height in general. Yeah, for men. Yeah, you really kind of, you want just a little bit more, which as a man, always healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bad has ever happened from a man wanting a little more. Uh, but yeah, I, I do think. I mean, but then you know, I mean, Tom Cruise. Yeah, five, I'm taller. Six, than, I'm right? taller than Tom Cruise. Shit. Is he five four, five six? Five, yeah, he's like five five. five I think. Five, yeah. yeah. Also, hey, not to call out anyone specifically, but I'm about to. Uh, one time, I was working at a coffee shop, and they were filming. Yeah, not to brag. Uh, and they were filming. Uh, CSI Los Angeles okay. with uh, LL Cool J. Okay. He was wearing like two inch lifts in his shoes. Nice. To yeah. be how tall? To be taller than, um, uh, what's that guy's name? He played Robin in the Chris O'Donnell. Chris O'Donnell. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, he was wearing boots and they, and they were like, they were like platforms. platforms. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was like, respect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah. That's funny. What's that? Six two. Okay. LL. No. He's the perfect. See, because I saw him and I was like, Front Street. I saw him and I was like, this dude's like five ten, the perfect height, and he just wants a little bit more, but he wanted three inches more. All right. He's probably a guy who would who would get the the surgery. Yeah. A lot of people's truth is, you know, like the, the the height they've been putting on their profiles already is what they're going to be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Honestly, I was like, if I was 5'10", I probably wouldn't even be funny. My life would right. be so good. Yeah. You know. That's a good point. Yeah. We need our adversity, so. But what if you just have the bad childhood and then you get to be tall? Oof. I say you just only, if it's just like only like two inches. Mm-hmm. That might be enough, depending on your height, that might be enough to, like, change your life a little bit. People aren't, like, kind of jarred by it to the point where they're thinking you're douchey. They just kind of, it's like, if they don't even really notice it, and then all of a sudden it's just things just feel a little different. Like, it's kind of like with makeup. You just, and and that's a lot to go through for just, like, one and a half, two inches. But I think the better thing to do would be to get a subtler surgery. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Koreans might figure it out. Yeah. I mean, (laughs) I'm counting on them. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody I else? I just say with, a, with most of these surgeries, <laughs> it's the same thing for like trans people and their genitals. It's like I would just say hold out for a while until they really get the technology fixed up to the point where you're going to have some good shit happening. Like, don't be in the first wave of people getting their legs extended. Yeah. First wave leg extension. First wave penises. First wave vaginas. First wave leg extensions. Hell no! Let a bunch of other people guinea pig that shit until they figure some shit out, and then wait. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that kind of weird that it's usually the people with the the most money, you know, that would do like that leg surgery, and yeah, and then it, but then it? it's like becomes cheaper and more safe, and then all right. the all the regulars get it. Yeah, all the true. regular monies. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's like once the price has come, by, by the time the price has come down, the quality is also good. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, it's just like me when I bought a, my first, you know, 4K TV. You know, I was like, just wait for the price to come down. I can get that Samsung and I'll get these new legs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it's for the rest of your life. Yeah. You know. Honestly, at this point, 
I don't want to know what I'm missing. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, you know. Well, that's the thing about anytime you do learn what you're missing, you're also going to learn what you are now, you, you know, what you are now missing from being short. Like, you'll see that there were positives to it. And yeah. And then you're just going to be on the other side of the grass is always greener fence. Yeah. It's like, yes, I, now I can see what's on top of the fridge. Now I can't walk. <laughs> now I can't walk. Yeah. <laughs> but now I can't bend over to pick up that quarter because my knees will turn into dust. Yeah. So. But yeah. So anyway, I'm, I'm happy being five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five and a uh, half. And I'm, and I'm throwing it out there. Any, any tall babes want uh, you piece know, of this? They want a piece of this. But also really short babes. And also, yeah. And also one's my height short, or a little bit short taller. Queens. Yeah. Or a little bit, you know. How come no one ever talks about short queens? I know. I don't know. Because we don't because it's not condescending because it's not like devalued to be short as a woman. As a, yeah. I know it's always like I'm five foot and my boyfriend's eight two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do, do, don't you find that creepy though? The people who wear one, one of them's way taller than the other. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's usually like, in my experience, that that girlfriend's usually the one who's uh, talks a bunch of shit to a bunch of people, mm-hmm. and then is like, "Take care of it," and then the guy's like, bah, bah, "Yeah." Bah. Uh, and I love being friends with with those. You know, it's always fun to go out. On a Friday those night people. with those people. Yeah. Gotcha. There's some lesbians uh, I, I follow on Instagram who are like that, where there's one who's like a tall, 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 tall basketball player, and she has like a tiny, short little model girl. And I'm just like, uh-huh. it's they're like, she's like half her height. Dang. I'm like, that feels weird. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, love is, love is blind. <laughs> also a great show. Yeah, that's a great show. <laughs> Um, okay, did we cover the topic of short kings? I mean, I feel good about it. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about it? Well, yeah, so basically our verdict is stop calling people short kings because it is condescending, very obviously, really. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it had a, a very, very brief moment Yeah. of being sincere. For Yeah, maybe it was sincere for a brief moment. Like, like two oh, I seconds. love a short king. Like there's something because you, were, yeah, you're. There's a recognition of like there's some short men who have like this confidence to them, yeah, and and a commanding presence, like me. And yeah, there you go. And so it's like that's true. It was sincere. And so if you can be like, yeah, like I love a short king. Like there's some. I actually, that's kind of like my type of, of like himbo. It's like a, a kind of short, bald, muscular guy who's. Like dumb and hot. Yeah. Yeah. So I love a short Damn. king. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's sincere sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, I changed my whole mind. Wow. <laughs> you yeah. just you just writing a story right there. You're just like describing a character. You know what? <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Uh you know, I think uh you know, I've I've I been this give way. him a little crown. Yeah. I want him to wear a little crown. Yeah. You don't have to worry about the hair getting in the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just a buff. I mean, <laughs> I I always feel like as a as a short guy, like I can't be dumb. I have to like know stuff. You well, know? you'd have to be really hot and buff in this scenario. Yeah. But as, oh yeah. yeah. So this is a himbo. Damn, I forgot that. You I, need to be really funny and talented. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's talent. Smart, the talent's funny, there, talent. That's folks. what you want. Yeah. yeah. Very talented, Simon Gibson. Oh mm-hmm. come on, thank you. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I needed to hear that. Uh. I'm going to say stop calling them short kings, but also, you know, just uh, uh, call them, uh, you know, what's what was your description? Tiny How, Prince? Yeah, what? Tiny Prince. <laughs> Don't call him a short king. I think we can and all an decide. Itty, 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 itty little prince. Here's my little, tiny, little, tiny prince. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> I can't find him. <laughs> oh, he's in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> tiny Prince. All right, fellas. We got something. The camera's not even on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we, you got to help me. Wait, did we have something we were really going to call them instead? I like Tiny Prince. Oh, yeah. you do? I actually do like yeah, that. Yeah, it kind of, it's kind of better. Yeah. I mean, is that the, the tiny, guy that- That's how I identify as a little prince. Tiny Prince? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm not tiny, but I'm tiny for a man, so, you know, like- 
And I'm, yeah. I mean, I'll take it. Tiny for a prince, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I've I've never thought of a prince as being large. Yeah, I think of them more as lithe. Like, like Elijah Wood. I'd be like, He's that's princely. a tiny little prince. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should have like more prince princess culture. Yeah. Um, you know, as kids, everybody wants to be a princess, or whatever. I'm not sure. Maybe the boys, because you could, if you can get boys to associate the idea of being a prince with like a lot of good moral character and stuff too. Yeah. Maybe that would be really nice. Well, because the prince is, I mean, I mean, yeah, we got to change the perception because a prince, in my mind, is just a like philanderer. a philanderer. Yeah. Well, and also just like a rich kid. Yeah, rich kid. So instead of that, it's like, no, you're noble. And so, like, here we all are. We're all now kind of kings and queens mm-hmm. in the West. Like, mm-hmm. we're so rich compared to like all the kings who ever lived. Got nothing to do with it. Yeah. And so, like, you are, we are little princes and princesses. Now, what are we going to do with all of this wealth? Mm-hmm. Um, we could do some amazing things. I think so. Yeah. So, like, we need to live up to being princes and princesses. Amazing, tiny little prince. Amazing, things. tiny little. Prince. Well, some people are bigger. But you and I are tiny little princes. Yeah. Help me. Yeah, do help <coughs> us. I mean, we're trying our best, but we can only reach so high. Give me $6. And give us $6. What's your Venmo? Uh, at Simon-Gibson- A lot of dashes in there. Simon-Gibson- dash. Yeah, give me like six bucks. Yeah, same. Whatever six bucks is to you. Uh, <laughs> at Gay <Yeah>. Ariel. <laughs> G-A-Y-A-R-I-E-L-L-E. <laughs> six dollars could mean a hundred dollars. Yeah, if whatever your six dollars is, if that's a hundred dollars to you, please give that. If that's one dollar to you, please give that. If it's twelve, you know, it's six. Yeah. But six is kind of like the everyman baseline. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, you've, I've given you so much for free. Whoever you are listening to this, and you know that you? And Simon Gibson just gave you forty minutes for free. Yeah. Oh yeah. I actually am leaving six dollars by the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. Thanks. Well, I'm glad we got through that. Thank yeah, you so do you much for having anything? me. Did we do that? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, other than following beginning. me on Venmo, you can follow me on. Uh, yeah, do follow us on Venmo. All the socials. It's just at Simi Gibson. We we'll start saying that at the end of the show. It's follow me on Venmo at Gay Ariel. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean, yeah. that's that means yeah. the most now. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.